The following Let's Play has been rated perfectly fine to watch. Any attempts to break the game are for entertainment value only. However, if any typos happen to be found... <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we beat the boss of World 4, which means potentially if we wanted to, we could probably actually skip the rest of this world and proceed to World 5. Or maybe not, let me see here. No, never mind, we need uh, one more trophy. By the way, there's something interesting about this song. Do you know what it is? Do you recognize it? This is the song that I used for my first introduction sequence. The one that I used uh, starting with the Atari special and moving on to through until uh, Spiritus. Yes, this is that song. Kind of interesting. Ah, and here we have the evening section. Actually, I could probably do stuff in the morning section if I wanted to, but it would make no sense to go from noon to morning so i'm just gonna kind of go through these in order and we got a new enemy here bad angel is what this one is called all we can do right now is use bigger blast and let's see what do you do siren song yes master and that's not me moving around and i caused damage to myself that's what those guys do. And in fact, I took some damage from that boss fight, so I'm gonna go heal. This is the first time I've actually had to purposely heal. So let me go ahead and heal. There we go. Now I'm at full health. By the way, considering my health is kept track of with items, which items, I don't know, they're around here somewhere. Hero MP. Where's Hero HP? Eh, whatever. Considering my health is being kept track of with items and you can't tr keep track of how many items that you have, some of you might be wondering, how am I keeping track of items in such a way that it knows to heal a specific amount of HP and not like make it so that I have more HP than I actually have. Well, it's simple. Um, whenever I have the Cluckles heal me, I actually have it remove all of my health at once and then add back whatever my max amount is. Which is probably why my health is so far down, because it removed it all, there it is. Because it removed all my health and then put it back. Or something like that. Also, here's another rocket. Let's uh, see if we can get this other attack to work. There it is, oil drop. Blind. Yes, we actually have a status effect against us. Blind, which means we can't actually see anything. It's a good thing we can't actually walk off the clouds. As for how you clear blind, well you just move around until you reach the edge of the range of where blind could possibly take place. Let's see, it's like here and here. This is the range which blind would stay in effect. You just have to walk out of that range and then it wears off. I can't remember if this thing has another attack. I don't think it does. Wait a sec. How far is this angel going to follow me? Well, first let me go ahead and kill it so I can get some extra health. Well, as it turns out, I can actually have this angel take uh, lure this angel all the way to the end of this section. Which means whenever I have it use Siren Song here, this should be interesting. Here I go, all the way back. Oh, what the? Ah! That's interesting. 
I totally should have put one of those invisible borders events things like I was talking about here so that it can't actually be lured all the way over there and make me walk across nothingness. Also, because this uh, section is the sunset section, we have a hole here that in indicates sunset. You know, there's a real missed opportunity here. I mean, never mind the fact that aside from this uh, being sunset, I mean, let me try that again. The maps suck. Simple as that. We got n almost nothing but clouds here. Wait a sec. There's a respawn point here. Can it walk across the respawn point? It's not supposed to be able to walk across the respawn point. What the heck? Whatever. But anyway, it's like almost nothing but clouds. The only thing interesting is the fact that each section takes place at a different time of day. I mean, sure, up here we got this here building with this rocket standing in front of it, but... You know, I was thinking, there's some real most real missed potential here. Like, what if I took the time of the day thing a step further? Like, imagine if instead of each section being sectioned off where we take a different path to get each section, it would, was all arranged in a circle and we could progress time and go back in time by going back through those sections. That would have been pretty interesting. We could have had some sort of time element as an actual element of the gameplay instead of just using it as an aesthetic. Would have certainly been better than a couple of the trophies we have to do deal with here. Anyway, let us move on. There's a switch here. No, oh, that's what's across that big old gap. A trophy. By flipping this switch, we activate this hover pad in order to get across that gap. I'm sorry, but only rockets are allowed into the rocket convention. Ooh, a rocket convention. That sounds interesting. I should totally get into that convention. So let us go ahead and find a rocket and become a rocket. By using form swap. Which, incidentally, doesn't actually swap forms. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, really. Why would you call it form swap if you don't swap forms? You should have called it form copy. Actually, it would have been really funny if we actually did swap forms. I'm wandering around as a rocket, and this rocket that I copied the form of would be wandering around as Mr. Knight. That would have been interesting. Hey, going to the Wink Rocket Convention? Um, yep, going to the convention. Should be pretty fun. Rocket, right? Okay, welcome to the Wink Rocket Convention. Is there something wrong with your eye or something? Oh, and it's automatic. You talk to him and you go in. Exclamation point. You here for the game show? Game show? I thought this was a convention. Huh? Wait, who said Ladies that? and... No, no, no wait. Rockets and rockets, wait we have second. ourselves a newcomer. No, this isn't a convention. No, we say that it is so that uh, nobody who is a rocket knows... Uh, uh, hold on a sec. <laughs> okay, so, um... I went ahead and removed the duplicate events in that, uh, room, and incidentally, um... First off, uh, loading the game for the second half of the game is kind of annoying. You have to load it with the memory cards for the system data and worlds 4 through 6 in there first. And then, in order to load sprites, you have to sw swap to the memory card with worlds 1 through 3 for those sprites. And then have to switch back to the memory card with worlds 4 through 6 for the remaining sprites. And then... I actually found a glitch, an actual legitimate glitch. So I exited the level and saved and apparently, I, I don't know how this happened, but hey, going to the Rock of the Convention? Yeah, this guy thinks I'm still in disguise. 
I'm not entirely sure why. Apparently, leaving the level, even though it changes Mr. Knight back to normal, it doesn't actually change him back to normal. Actually, I'm not even sure I did get changed back to normal. I'll have to check that. Can I get in here? Yes, I actually can get in here without being disguised now. That is an interesting glitch. Anyway, let's see. You here for the game show? Game show thought this was a convention, huh? Ladies and... No, wait. Rockets and Rockets, we have ourselves a newcomer. No, this isn't a convention. We say that it is so that nobody who isn't a rocket knows we're having fun and decides to crash our party. Hey, if you're new here, does that mean you've been to a bunch of other places? Yes. I thought so. Follow me. Stand just over there. Rockets and Rockets, welcome to Rocket Race, a show where two rockets race to cr answer cr questions correctly. Question mark? Incidentally, the way he's sort of standing in mid-walk, it sort of looks like he has a microphone in his hand. Kind of like that. In actuality, he's not holding a microphone. It's just he's got like a yellow wrist or something. And considering Mr. Nice currently standing in a mid-walk pose, he would also look like he's holding a microphone. I'm your host, Bob Rocket! The rules are simple. I'll ask a series of questions, and the first to answer the question correctly gets a point. And by first to answer the question, I mean Mr. Knight gets the chance to answer first, and then if he's wrong, we'll have the other guy answer the correct question. At the end of seven questions, seven questions that are not randomly chosen but are exactly the same every time you play, whoever has more points wins. Okay, here's your first question. What is the name of this game? Um, Jester's Hunt, Jester's Quest, or Edward's Quest? Edward's, Qu Edward's Quest, I'm pretty sure, is an actual RPG Maker 3 game, or not at 3, an actual RPG Maker game. I can't remember what the game is about, maybe sometime I'll let's play it, not sure. Jester's Quest is actually the name of this game before I decided on Jester's Hunt. Originally, Jester was going to be the hero, and he would be the one going after his own trophies. I changed my mind for reasons which I'll explain later. For now, it's Jester's Hunt. That's correct! Next question! Who is the boss of Sealand? Piggy, Pirate, or Peggy? For the sake of showing off a wrong answer... Pirate. No, that's not the right answer. C. Peggy. That's correct. Next question. What is Mr. Knight questing for? Trophies, stars, or jiggies? Banjo-Kazooie reference, obviously. In fact, Form Swap is a Banjo-Kazooie thing, sort of. Yeah, he was inspired by Banjo-Kazooie because I love me some transformations. Too bad most of the transformations in Jester's Hunt aren't really that interesting. I mean, so far we've been a pirate, whoop de doo and a rocket. Meh. Trophies. That's correct. Next question. Are either of you a disguised Mr. Knight? No, I'm not in a disguise. Yes, definitely, and of course not. Sure, I'll, sh I'll just choose this one. What? You are? Get out of here! And we're kicked out. Normally we'd still be in disguise, but considering that glitch... You know what? I'm gonna see if I can't fix this. I'm really curious, when I left the stage, was I still in disguise? Because you're supposed to have the disguise removed when you leave the stage. If it turns out that the disguise wasn't removed, that's a real glitch here. Alright, well now I can actually use a form swap, so now it knows I'm not transformed. That's weird, I wonder how I caused that glitch. Let me think here, I got kicked out of the rocket race. 
like I did just now, and then exited the level. Was it how I exited the level that... I don't know. That makes no sense to me. Whatever, let us get back into the thing. Alright, so for this uh, time, I'm just going to keep choosing the first answer and see... Well, with the exception of the question that uh, asked me if I'm in disguise. Because I want to show off what happens if you lose. Of course not. That's good. Next question. Where was the trophy in Sealand's treasure hunt? In the pirate ship, in the pirate's toy ship, in a treasure chest. This is actually useful because if you can't couldn't figure out where that trophy was in that little treasure hunt, this gives you an indication of where it was you're supposed to look. We're just going to say in the pirate ship. No, that's not the right answer. B, in the pirate's toy ship. That's correct. Next question. What fake video game company created this game? Rareware, Great Dragon Gaming, Xyle Productions. Xyle Productions is once again a little studio like my Great Dragon Gaming thing in which somebody created an RPG Maker game. I forget who it belongs to or what game they created. I want to say... Oh, I can't even think of the name of the game. I know what, what the game is, but not the name. Abyss of Saga, I think? Anyway, we're gonna say Rareware. Once again, Banjo-Kazooie related. No, that's not the right answer. B, Great Dragon Gaming. Or Dracoon Creations, if I ever get around to making this game again. In fact, if I ever get around to making this game again, I would put more variety of questions and have them randomized a little. That way you're kept on your toes. That's correct. Last question. What is the name of the hub world? Ooh, this one's gonna be tricky. If you haven't gone into the menu and checked your stats, you would not know this answer. The answer, of course, is Castle Keep, and once again, we have a thing referencing Banjo-Kazooie. The answer, of course, is Castle Keep. That's correct, and that ends the game. Contestants, please step forward. The reason why I have you step forward is because it's not an easy task keeping track of how many questions you get right and wrong and then still allow you to know whether you won or not at the end of the game all as one script. So I have the questions in and then have you step on a tile that checks if you have enough points then. If I step this way, oh, I can't actually step to the side. In fact, what I'm standing on is technically actually a wall, not a floor. So, but I can't actually step here. Today's winner is... The Opponent! Nice try, newcomer. Better luck next time. Alright, let us go through that one more time, this time winning. And by the way, in case you're curious, every time you come in here, the exact same scene plays. Alright. There is no uh, special thing you get if you get all the questions correct. It's just as long as you answer more questions correctly than getting wrong. Today's winner is... The Newcomer! Here is your prize. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Until next time, by the way, I walked into the trophy automatically. And then we have the credits. Wait, what? They're actually fake credits for the game show. For some reason, that rocket down there is looking to the left. Not entirely sure why. But yeah, we got fake credits here, where everybody's last name is apparently Rocket. T-Rocket. Double Trouble. Gee, I wonder what that's a reference of. Rocket Race is a Rocket co-production. Copyright... Something, and it's a wild guess, so it's probably not even right. Somebody tell me what year that is. 
This show is entirely fictional. Any similarities with real life events is purely coincidental. Rocket Race and Rocket Co. are not affiliates of Zion Productions or Rare Rare UK. We thank you deeply if you actually watch the credits, as not many do. If you watch my credits, you'll sometimes see stuff after the credits. I like doing that sort of thing sometimes. Anyway, we are now done with the evening section, so let us uh, warp to the world entry and proceed into the night section. Game show? I thought this was a convention. Huh? Wait, who said that? I don't know, you all look the same to me. Wait a second, are we all clones? No, my identity! Ah! Ah! 